G'day folks. Did the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl win over the San Francisco 49ers just save Joe Biden and give his re-election campaign a shot in the arm? Don't at me. That's just what parts of the right have suggested was a strong likelihood if the Chiefs were to get up. So the right-wing conspiracy theory goes, at least this is how I understand it to be, pop superstar Taylor Swift's appearance in Las Vegas yesterday to witness her boyfriend Travis Kelsey's win was actually a Pentagon-backed psychological operation to turn a rigged game into a calculated political endorsement for Biden 2024. The theory is Swift, Kelsey and the NFL are all in on it. Now, some of these theories get pretty colourful, devised by folks who have nothing better to do with their time. But for whatever reason, people buy into it. Here's the thing, there is no ruse here, no elaborate plot. Kelsey and Swift are already likely Democrat supporters, so there's no need to put on a public show. Also, surely, the Democrats have learnt their lesson about celebrity endorsements. They just don't work. 2016, anyone? when Hillary wheeled out a whole conga line of them? In fact, maybe Donald Trump would prefer the conspiracy theory to be correct because I would have thought he'd actually benefit from it. My experience is voters don't like being told what to do or how to vote by rich, out-of-touch celebrities who have nothing in common with those in the real world who live on Struggle Street. The thing is, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, Super Bowl and conspiracy theories aside, I don't think anything can save Joe Biden, not even himself. As much was said last week by special counsel Robert Hur, who cleared Biden of mishandling classified documents, but that wasn't the story. The story became his age, and in a big and brutal way. The special counsel's assessment was that Joe Biden was a well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory. Confirmation of what most folks already know. The report suggested Biden couldn't remember which years he was vice president. But perhaps most striking was the charge that he couldn't remember when his son Bo died. Biden read from a teleprompter as he defended himself, but even then he looked shaky and unconvincing, even more so when he took questions from reporters. In his description, you are a well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. I'm well-meaning and I'm an elderly man and I know what the hell I'm doing. I've been president and I put this country back on its feet. I don't need his recommendation. It's How totally out. Mr. Is Mr. President, for months when you were asked about your age, you would respond with the words, watch me. Watch Many me. American people have been watching and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your is judgment. Biden tried to calm the farm, so to speak, but on the very same day, in what can only be described as laughable if it wasn't so serious, his memory left him again when he mistakenly claimed the Egyptian leader El Sisi was the president of Mexico when talking about Gaza. This is deadly serious stuff, as we all know. Joe Biden looks more and more senile by the day and is unfit for office. We're talking about the president of the United States here, the so-called leader of the free world, and he can barely string a coherent sentence together. We've known about Biden's cognitive problems for a long time, but the special counsel's report highlighted Biden's age in a way that struck a nerve. It's irresponsible for his supporters and the Democrat Party, for that matter, to nominate him for re-election. Problem is, how do you tell a president that he can't be president anymore? Donald Trump didn't handle that very well four years ago, did he? But the voters were the ones who decided that. Maybe they'll have to do the same again. The Democrats will only have themselves to blame, though, as it's too late now to parachute an alternative in. Say what you will about Trump, and he's certainly got his issues, legal and otherwise, but 2024 Trump, just a few years younger than Biden, still comes across much sharper, way more of an authority than Biden does. And you have to admit, it's better to have someone like that in charge than someone who's become a laughingstock. If Biden were to somehow win the election, imagine his mental shape and how that would be a few years from now. And those who pushed him along would have played a role. Thanks for watching. To support this channel, please like, share and subscribe below. See you next week.